Hi YouTube, welcome to another special review of mine and the first of the two part back to back special reviews that I would be putting out by this week or by next week. Um, this is the first as I, as I said and as you can see here it's on the Batman Legacy Edition Golden Age Joker. And let me zoom out a little first. Guess we gotta go with the packaging as usual. As you can see here the packaging is a lot different from the DC Universe Classics um, packagings. As you can see there um says exclusive comic book poster included. Legacy Edition The Joker with Playing Cards and Hammer. At the top is the logo of the line and has a background here that says ha 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 and on the side is a nice picture, a nice illustration of the Joker. On the other side there you can see the included poster. At the back, the same illustration is also used and a bio. The bio says, Maniac Madman Joker. Armed with a deck of razor sharp playing cards and his maniacal hammer, the Joker is Batman's arch nemesis, terrorizing the people of Gotham City. The iconic villain made his debut with the first issue of Batman, announcing his arrival by taking on Gotham's criminals and declaring his intention to kill three of the city's most prominent citizens. Each subsequent victim was found with a bone-chilling grin across his face, and it was up to Batman and Robin to capture the murderous maniac and restore some semblance of order to their fine city, something they have been trying to do ever since. Celebrate the legacy of Batman, says down there, and other figures in the Series 1 of the line includes Modern Age Batman and Mr. Freeze. Really nice packaging. I love the packaging on these. Um, if you have the chance to buy two of, two of these, keep one in the package and keep one open, or you could just keep uh, you could just buy one and keep it in the packaging if you're content with that. But where's the fun in that, right? So, back to the figures. You can see here, really really nicely done figure here by Mattel. The head sculpt is really nice. Really captures the um, Golden Age face of Joker. I believe it is a new mold for Joker's head because it's um, a lot cheekier, has um, bigger cheeks, and a less slimmer face. Unlike the first release Joker, which has a slimmer face, the detail on the hair too is also really nice. The green and the black wash there is so great. And his eyes, if you notice it, are looking down. I don't know why, but um, I'm kind of digging it. And the body, as you can see, is a re reuse a re or a repaint of the first release Joker from the, D the DC Universe Classics line. And, um, the vest is repainted from orange to violet or purple, whatever you prefer. prefer. And the difference from this one and the pants no longer no longer has the pinstripes. As you can see there. I love the trench coat here. Really, really nice. Has some shading there at the back. And nice detail here. Creases on the back of the trench coat. And the added detail here with the um belt I don't know what it's called and the shoes look great they look really glossy like um real shoes so Joker here has some really nice paint and detail so forth <laughs> 